Number 21. What is the change in the nucleus that results from the following decay scenarios? And then we have an emission of a beta plus or a positron particle. Okay, so we want to know what's going on with the nucleus uh, when we emit a positron. So just know that a beta with a positive sign, that is called a positron. And the positron, am I spelling this right? That looks good, a positron. A positron is the antimatter to an electron. So whether you want to put it as an E, that's fine with me, or you could put a beta, right, for B, right? Um, it doesn't matter, but just know that a positron is the opposite of an electron, which means that if the electron is the negative one on the bottom, because electrons are negatively charged, the positron has to be a plus one. So we're just going to put it as a one on the bottom. And then just know that they're both zeros at the top because uh, it's not a mass number, not part of nu neutrons and protons. So a zero on the top, one on the bottom, that's a positron. But anyway, we want to find out what the change is going to happen in the nucleus, right? And the two subatomic particles that are part of the nucleus, does anyone know? Yeah, right? It's the protons plus the neutrons. Electrons are not part of the nucleus. Positrons are not part of the nucleus. But if you do something with your positrons, maybe there might be a change. So let's see. Now the last piece of the puzzle is to know what this term emission means. Now anytime that you're dealing with emission, right, you're emitting something into the atmosphere. So you're putting it out there for everyone to see. So an emission, just means that whatever your particle is doing, that's always going to be on your product side. So if we are emitting a positron particle, that means that in my balanced equation, that positron has to be on the product side. So let's write that down. So we're going to use the B, and I'm going to do my little colorings because I love the colors. Um, and then we're just going to put the positron notation, zero on the top, a one on the bottom, and this is a positron. So now, let's enter in a proton and a neutron. Now the only reason why I only care about these two particles is, once, once again, the nucleus is for the protons and the neutrons, so I don't care about anything else. Now, I'm going to try to make a balanced equation with my protons and neutrons and my positron that was emitted. But the thing here is that, remember, all the top numbers have to equal on both sides, so that the total top numbers for the products have to equal the total top numbers on the reactants. And then the same thing for the bottom numbers, that the total bottom numbers on the reactants have to equal the total bottom numbers on the products. But now... For a proton and a neutron, right, if I look at my bottom numbers, one has a one on it because it's a plus one, right? Charge for protons and neutrons are neutral. They have no charge, so zero. But now, if I already have a one here, and if I put the proton on this side, what would be my total bottom number? Yeah, it would be a two. Does that equal the neutron? Uh-uh. But if I throw my neutron up here on my product side, 1 plus 0 is 1. Oh, this could go on the reactant side. And then the top number, 0 plus 1, is 1. So we know that the neutron has to be on the product side, and the, po the proton has to be on the product side. Uh, sorry, the reactant side. And this is our general balanced equation for when we emit a positron. But now we just got to say that in words. So what's really going on in the nucleus? Well, protons and neutrons are part of the nucleus, and it seems like a proton will turn into a neutron. So you'll lose a proton, but you'll gain a neutron. So we'll say, you know, emission of the positron particle that a proton will turn into a neutron. 
How cool is that? Chem for the win. Um, I guess let's box this off, right? Let's do maybe a blue color. Happy little blue. There we go. And that looks pretty good. And that's the answer. What'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. I hope these videos help you in your chem class. We also got physics and math videos on the channel. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, if you need help in those subjects, if you know anyone that needs help in those subjects, we would love to help anyone out. That's the goal of this channel, to help as many people out, many students out as possible. Uh, we still have a lot of subjects under our belt that we want to put on the channel. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the support. We also uh, just opened up memberships. If you want to become a member to the channel and help us out a little bit more, you always can. There's four different tiers with tons of perks. Um, so maybe something uh, might groove with you. Uh, but, you know, not mandatory. Uh, but thank you for considering. And that's it. That's all I got for you. I, I, I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.